Ones could be in a lot better shape by the end of this week, Mary. Not sure about oh, the yeah. front range, though. Yeah, front range, unfortunately, that's just, just too early to call because that's going to happen for us on Friday. But uh, the high country is going to be in better shape later this week. Um, you know, we're certainly not going to make up the deficit in five days, but we've got a series of storms coming in. It's certainly going to help the matter across the high country. I share this a lot. and. With what meets the eye percent of normal precipitation, you can look at this graphic and think it's convoluted, a little confusing, but just to make it easy, anything that's close to 100% means we're almost at average. So 85%, not bad, is slightly below average for snowpack, for precipitation. You get out across the eastern plains, that 4%, that 0%, you're all the way towards the end of that legend there, uh, which means you are way behind uh, for precipitation so far this season. 7% for parts of the Sangre de Cristos. So the central and northern mountains aren't doing terrible, comparatively speaking, to the rest of the state. And we're certainly going to pick up just a bit more later this week. And overnight tonight, we'll pick up some snow as well. So a decent 20 to 25 inches of snowpack in some of those higher peaks, but not enough all the way down you know, to the valley floor to really matter for some of those ski runs. Uh, notice here, winter weather advisories are in place for parts of uh, the central mountains. Vail Pass tonight uh, areas around Glenwood Springs until noon tomorrow. A lot of that snow right now is already moving in across the region and we've got more to come. Area of low pressure right here is going to continue digging across California and the coastline and will usher in quite a bit of moisture from the Pacific to contribute to that snowfall across the high country. Some of that starting tonight, uh, especially extending into about 8 o'clock in the morning. A lot of that will push into Telluride and parts of Durango and the San Juans uh, overnight tonight for a decent 2 to 4 inches for some of those higher peaks, 4 to 6 uh, for elevations above 11,000 feet and close to about five to nine inches for some of the Elk Mountains and the West Elk Mountains. Now you'll notice we still wake up with some cloud cover across I-25 in the Eastern Plains tomorrow. We'll clear out into the afternoon and evening hours, so it is going to uh, be mostly cloudy tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, clouds start to build back across the region yet again as our next incoming system impacts the high country. This time it'll get a little bit closer to Alamosa, uh, areas uh, closer to Gunnison, so it will impact some of our southern mountains by Wednesday night and Thursday morning. And notice here a much stronger system coming into play. This will be the system Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening that will likely impact us here locally on Friday. In terms of our impacts, it's too early to call. We know we're going to be cold, a little bit of moisture. We could be looking at some slick conditions regardless of the amount of snow uh, for us on Friday. So Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, mountain snow. That system pivots across I-25, leading to a bit more in the way of some widespread snow for us later this week across parts of Wherefordow County up into the Pikes Peak region and the Palmer Divide. Could contribute to our first measurable snow of the season, but a little too early to call right now. Over the next three to four days, Close to about a foot will be possible across the central and northern mountains. So over the next 24 hours, it's going to be light to moderate, and then we'll pick up a bit more as we move through uh, Wednesday night and Thursday night, uh, especially there across parts of Durango. Uh, so that will be much needed for the high country. Notice temperatures tomorrow, 30s and 40s, still chilly. Mostly cloudy skies, a little bit of filtered sunshine for some locations closer to the mountains around Canyon City. May see a little peak of sunshine, helping those temperatures close to 50 degrees. Otherwise, it's going to be chilly and dismal for Tuesday's forecast for southern Colorado. Woodland Park, notice we stay steady in the 40s for the next several days. Overnight lows down into the single digits Friday night. That's where that next system comes into play. So it's going to be very cold and windy on Friday. And notice that we do start to clear out for the weekend time frame as temperatures bump back into the 30s and 40s for Saturday and then aggressively warming back up into the 50s to low 60s on Sunday. So we will get out of this, you know, colder pattern, but not until the weekends. Of course, it's been nice considering that uh, we've been so warm for the last several weeks and it is December after all. Uh, Canyon City highs in the 40s to near 50 degrees tomorrow. 30s and 40s for Colorado Springs, cloudy skies, a little bit of sunshine Wednesday, Thursday.